हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी विल डू एस एस सी टीयर वन पेपर एंड द पेपर इज संडे ओपन चैलेंज टेस्ट एंड द पेपर कोड फॉर टूडेज पेपर इज वन वन जीरो वन आई एम मोहित सिंह मार एंड आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द पोर्सन ऑफ रीजनिंग ऑफ पेपर कोड वन वन जीरो वन लेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टॉक्सिन डेंजर we have to tell what come next with the similar similar relationship as there in toxin and danger as you know what is the meaning of toxin toxin is a warning bell toxin is a warning bell warning bell or you can say it is a signal for the danger signal for danger so in the given option if you try to find out then clarion battle clarion what is clarion clarion is the same thing is a trumpet or clarion is blown when battle start or you can say it is a warning bell for battle so this is correct answer for option option d is your correct answer question number 2 we have to find out odd one out here four options are given ultraviolet rays x rays infrared rays and radio waves we have to tell which is different from other three as you know ultraviolet x rays and infrared all three rays all these three rays are long wave long wavelength waves all these are long wavelength but the radio waves are the wave of short wavelength so this is different from other three the correct answer is radio waves question number 3 we have series of letter givens and we have to fill here the given from the given option and complete the given series here firstly count the total number of letter with blanks like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 and 20 we have total 20 letters with blanks now break this complete into half means 10 and 10 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 if you break this from half 10 on this side 10 on this side number all these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 8 and finally 10 so here on third first position is a blank second position a third position b fourth position a in the same way number all these from back side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if you see here on position Three B is present. Same here on position three B is present. On position four A is present. On position four A is present. On position six C is present. Here on position six there is a blank. On position seven A is present. Here A B C B C and finally blank. So this is the reverse series of this. Means these are in this direction and these are in this direction so here on position 1 what is here a so here the letter come must be a on position 5 there is letter 2 3 4 5 the letter b is present so what come here that is b on position 10 what is present d a b d so a b d is present in option d here come c and a this is series like this a a b a b c a b c d and this is reverse order of this series in question number 4 how many english meaningful english word can be made with the letter e m n a using the letter only once we have given letters e m n a so trying out try to find out the meaningful word first is n a m e 
first second meaningful what we can make from this emn that is mean m e a n mean mean means average it is related to average mean third we can make from here m a n e m a n e main main means this is the word used for the hair on animal necks the large hair present on animal necks is known as main and the last word formed by this is a m e n amen amen is the egyptian personification used for air and breath this is amen so total four meaningful english word can be found by this in question number 5 which one of the given responses would be a meaningful order of the following we have six things are given lava eruption mercury pluto volcano and earth from here you select the related thing like lava eruption and volcano these are related to each other these are similar thing in a manner and the mercury pluto and earth these are similar means all these are planets so 1 2 and 5 comes with each other in option c 2 5 1 and 6 3 4 these comes in another group so these two related groups are formed option b is your correct answer in question number 6 40 boys are standing in a row facing north raghu is 11th from the left let's we start this is line of 40 student and raghu like this is position of raghu raghu is 11th from left he is 11th from left this is raghu who is 11th from left rajiv is 31st from the right rajiv is 31st from the right so this is right from here the rajiv is 31st like this is the position of rajiv rajiv is 31st from the right next how far away will lakshman who is third to right of raghu lakshman is third to right of raghu this is position of raghu and lakshman is third to right 1 2 3 so this is position of lakshman means if rams on 11th from left then 12 13 14 14 from left and lakshman is 14th we have to tell how far away will lakshman who is third to the right of raghu in the row from rajiv we have to tell how what is the position of lakshman with respect to rajiv so rajiv is 31st from left if you find try to find out rajiv position from left hand he is 31st from right from left hand he is 10th because total 40 student are there and lakshman is 14th so rajiv is 10th lakshman is 14th means 4th lakshman is 4th from the fourth right fourth right from position of rajiv this is your correct answer in question number 7 here this is a matrix question we have a matrix given and in this matrix the words are given on a certain number like if you have to find out what letter is present on position number 12 12 here one this is the code for column and this is for row here directions are given directions are given that first digit is used for column and second is for row like if you have to find out uh, what letter comes on 12 so this is column of 1 this is row of 2 the intersection is s 
so s is present on position 12 in the same way we have to find out code for p a w s i o n okay let's start with option a 54 the letter must present is p like this is fifth column and this is fourth row p is present okay this option may be our answer let's move on second that is 21 now we have to check what comes on position 20 in the same way if you uh, try to find out the code for all the letters then you find that option d will give you the correct answer like if you want to match then on 50 5 and this is row for 0 p is present now next 96 column of 9 row of 6 and on 96 a is present now move next 10 8 column of 10 row of 8 s is present we require s next is 58 column of 5 and this is another s is also present now 37 3 7 i is present same 34 <coughs> here 3 4 o is present and last is 3 0 3 0 n is present so all these letter are present option d is your correct answer in question number 8 to 10 we have to find out the missing number in question 8 2 6 3 2 and in between 52 here the method is like this square of all the outside number means 2 square plus 6 square plus 2 square and plus 3 square then minus 1 from all these so if you add all these 2 square 6 square 3 square 2 square you will get 53 53 minus 1 the number comes is 52 which come inside in the same way if you apply the same process here then you find that 3 square plus 5 square plus 1 square plus 2 square the answer minus 1 so you will get your answer 39 minus 1 that is 38 in the same way if you apply same process here 2 square plus 3 square plus 5 square plus 4 square and minus 1 from this then you will get your correct answer and the correct answer for this is if you add all this then you get 54 minus 1 that is 53 option d is your correct answer in question number 9 5 2 4 3 and in between is 28 here take these two number and add by squaring them means 5 square plus 4 square minus the square of remaining number 3 square plus 2 square subtract these two what you get that is 5 square 25 plus 16 minus 9 plus 4 so 41 minus 13 the answer is 28 in the same way if you apply same process here 8 square plus 4 square means 64 plus 16 minus 8 square plus let us this is x square and you must get answer 12 so put the value of x means here uh, 64 plus 16 that is 80 what is subtracted from 80 that you will get your answer 12 by putting the value of x here so if you put the value of x is 2 then 2 square is 4 so 8 square 64 plus 2 square is 4 68 
एट्टी माइनस सिक्सटी एट यू गैट आंसर ट्वेल्व सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी टू इन क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन सिक्स फोर टू थ्री फाइव वट कम्स ऑन द प्लेस ऑफ क्वेश्चन मार्क हेयर द प्रोसेस इज लाइक दिस टेक दीज टू नंबर सिक्स एंड फोर सिक्स प्लस फोर क्यूब डिवाइड बाय टेन सिक्स प्लस फोर दैट इज टेन टेन क्यूब इज वन थाउजेंड इफ यू डिवाइड वन थाउजेंड बाय टेन आंसर इज हंड्रेड द नंबर कम इज दिस हंड्रेड इन द सेम वे फाइव प्लस टू इफ यू अप्लाई सेम प्रोसेस फाइव प्लस टू क्यूब डिवाइड बाय टेन फाइव प्लस टू सेवन सेवन क्यूब इज थ्री फोर थ्री इफ यू डिवाइड बाय टेन देन थर्टी फोर पॉइंट थ्री यू गेट दिस डिजिट सो वी हैव टू अप्लाई द सेम प्रोसेस ऑन द रिमेनिंग डिजिट दैट इज मीन्स थ्री प्लस एक्स क्यूब डिवाइड बाय टेन एंड द आंसर मस्ट बी दिस वन सेवन टू पॉइंट एट इफ यू नो सेवन ट्वेंटी एट सेवनटीन ट्वेंटी एट दिस इज द क्यूब ऑफ ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व क्यूब इक्वल टू वन सेवन टू एट सो वट प्लस थ्री प्लस वट गिव यू आंसर ट्वेल्व दैट इज नाइन थ्री प्लस नाइन ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व क्यूब इज वन सेवन टू एट and divide by 10 172.8 so what comes on the place of question mark that is 9 option b is your correct answer in question number 11 we have to tell how many paths are there from a to x if the only way to move are up and right we just move up and right okay in this figure just give the name like a b C, D, E, F, G, H. So try to find out the paths from A to X only in up and right direction. The first path is if we move from A to B to C to D and then to X means. A B C D X. In the same way, next is A B E D X means A B E D X. Second, third is A B E A B E H X H and X. Next is A F E D X. A F E D X. Next is A F E H X, and the final path is A F G H X H X. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There are total six paths. from which we can move from a to x so here the option are not presented but uh, you know answer is 6 option d is the correct answer in question 12 vikas facing toward the west and so like this is position of vikas he is facing toward west he turn 45 degree clockwise from here he turn 45 degree clockwise so clockwise direction is this direction he move 45 degree clockwise this is 45 degree clockwise this is his position now again 180 degree clockwise from here 180 degree clockwise so if he move 180 degree then position is like this straight this angle is 180 degree and in which direction in clockwise direction then turns 270 degree anti clockwise from here he moved 270 degree 270 degree anti clockwise direction so this is his position now this angle is 270 degree anti clockwise in which direction he facing now so his face is in which direction this is east 
west north south so this is the position his face is in south west option b is your answer question number 13 in a class of 46 student 18 played football 17 played cricket including 6 who played football 16 student play hockey including 4 who played cricket but not football 5 student play carrom but no outdoor games means the carrom playing student play only carrom which of the following figure represent these fact so one thing is clear from carrom that the circle of carrom must be different from the other games so the different circle is present in all the figure now if you see clear carefully you find that there is no player who play all the three games no one is there no one play all three games so if no one is playing all three then it is clear that there is not any reason which is common in all three so if you see option a this is the common reason means these are the player who play all three games but in question we have no this type of statement given here also this is the circle where all three games are presented we don't required in option d we have clear that 17 play cricket including 6 who play football means cricket player also play football but here all circle are different so this is also not our answer option c is our correct answer so move on question number 14 if 24 out of 32 persons are hindu then which of the following figure best depicts represent hindu so 24 out of 32 are hindu means if you cut it 8 threes are 24 8 fours are 32 3 by 4 means 3 by 4 are hindu if this is total circle if i make four part equal four part then 1 2 3 4 3 by 4 this portion is hindu so correct representation is option d here this portion is left 1 by 4 remaining 3 by 4 are hindu question number 15 statement conclusion question statement given are some trains are car like this is the circle for train and some trains are car some trains are car intersecting the train circle next is all car are branches all cars come in the circle of branches all branches are nets all branches comes in the circle of net and some nets are dresses some nets are dresses this is venn diagram so first conclusion some dresses are cars so dresses and cars are different no relation is present so this is wrong some nets are train this is the circle for net and this is circle for train so net circle is crossing train circle means there is some nets which are train also this is correct option some branches are train this is circle for branch which is also crossing train circle so this is also correct some dresses are train this is circle for dress this is for train no relation present this is wrong we have only two conclusion right 2 and 3 so option b only 2 and 3 follows question number 16 we have a statement given and two assumptions are given and we have to answer according to this if only assumption one is implicated answer is a only two then b if either one to c and if neither one or two the answer is d so this is the statement given a major retail store announced 30% reduction on all food items during the weekend first assumption is people may still prefer buying food item from other stores so if you think according to retail storer he announced 30% discount by assuming what he assumed that that people comes on his store so this is wrong assumption that people do not come people buy items from other store so this is wrong 
सेकेंड अजम्पन इज ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ कस्टमर मे विजिट मे विजिट रिटेल स्टोर बाय फूड आइटम सो ही इज गिविंग थर्टी परसेंट डिस्काउंट सो इट इज अज्यूम्ड दैट लार्ज नंबर ऑफ कस्टमर मे कम सो दिस इज करेक्ट अजम्पन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द गिवन गिवन ऑप्शन द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ओनली टू फॉलो ओनली टू फॉलो इज प्रेजेंट इन ऑप्शन बी सो ऑप्शन बी फॉर सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन इज आवर करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन बी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन वी हैव टू टेल हाउ मेनी नंबर आर देर बिटवीन वन टू हंड्रेड विच कैन बी एग्जैक्टली डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री एंड हैव फोर एज अ डिजिट सो इफ यू फाइंड वन टू हंड्रेड डिजिट विच इज डिवाइड बाई थ्री एंड फोर एज अ डिजिट दैट आर फर्स्ट इज ट्वेंटी फोर नेक्स्ट इज फोर्टी टू द नेक्स्ट इज फोर्टी फाइव द नेक्स्ट इज फोर्टी एट नेक्स्ट इज फिफ्टी फोर एंड द लास्ट इज एट्टी फोर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो टोटल सिक्स नंबर आर देयर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन वी हैव टू टेल वट कम ऑन द प्लेस ऑफ क्वेश्चन मार्क हेयर दिस इज अ ब्लैंक सरफेस वी हैव टू टेल वट कम हेयर इफ यू सी द पोजिशन दिस इज फर्स्ट पोजिशन इज रिवर्स ऑफ दीज सो फ्रॉम हेयर इफ यू ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट विद फर्स्ट टेक टू मीन्स विद टू फोर इज प्रेजेंट हेयर विद टू थ्री एंड सिक्स आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट सो इट इज क्लियर दैट द ऑपोजिट ऑफ टू मस्ट बी फाइव बिकॉज फोर थ्री एंड सिक्स आर ऑलरेडी गिवन सो दीज आर नॉट ऑपोजिट सो ऑपोजिट ऑफ टू इज फाइव वी हैव टू टेल वट कम्स हेयर एंड इफ यू सी द अनदर पोजिशन यू फाइंड आउट दैट ऑपोजिट ऑफ फोर इज सिक्स एंड ऑपोजिट ऑफ थ्री इज वन वी हैव टू टेल वट कम हेयर सो फोर एंड टू द अपोजिट ऑफ फोर इज सिक्स सो सिक्स इज नॉट कम हेयर opposite of 2 is 5 which is also not come here the remaining option is 3 and 1 which are opposite to each other so what come here the number come here from the given options is 3 which what come here is 3 now move on question number 19 here these are the direction given divide stand for greater than multiply stand for addition and so on we have to tell which of the following alternative is correct here from the given all the option you just change the sign according to the given directions like the divide sign stand for greater than you replace the divide sign by greater than so the sign used on the place of divide is greater than multiply stands for addition so sign used at the place of multiply is addition so by doing so if you change the sign of all the options and check it out then you find that if you take option c this 5 greater than is replaced by multiply into 2 multiply is replaced by plus 1 minus is replaced by equal to 3 greater than sign is replaced by multiply 4 and less than sign is by minus 1 so 10 plus 1 11 12 minus 1 11 equal to 11 so option c will give you correct answer in question number 20 red is coded as 6720 red r e d R comes on position 18, E on 5, and D on 4. Alphabetical order. So if you add 2 in all these, plus 2, 18 plus 2, 20, 5 plus 2, 7, 4 plus 2, 6, 27 and 6. This is present here. 27, 6. In the same way, code for G is 7 R on 18 e on 5 5 and on 14 add 2 in all these 7 plus 2 9 9 is present here cut option a next is 18 18 plus 2 20 20 is present in option c and d cut this 5 5 5 5 is 
फाइव प्लस टू सेवन फाइव प्लस टू सेवन मीन्स डबल सेवन डबल सेवन इज प्रेजेंट इन ऑप्शन सी ओनली सो ऑप्शन सी इज योअर करेक्ट आंसर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन वी हैव टू टेल इन द ईयर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी सिक्स रिपब्लिक डे वॉज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन फ्राइडे ऑन विच डे वॉज इंडिपेंडेंस डे सेलिब्रेटेड इन टू थाउजेंड सो रिपब्लिक डे वॉज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन फ्राइडे मीन्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स जैन नाइंटी सिक्स द डे इज फ्राइडे सो इफ यू मूव वन ईयर नेक्स्ट मीन्स ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स जैन ट्वेंटी सिक्स जैन नाइंटी सेवन द डे इज नाइंटी सिक्स आर लीप ईयर सो द डे इज फ्राइडे सैटरडे संडे एस यू एन डी ए वाई संडे Why Sunday? Because if this is not a leap year, the day must be Saturday. But this is leap year, so one day next means after Friday, Sunday, ninety-seven. On twenty-six Jan ninety-eight, the day is Monday. After this, in ninety-nine, ninety-eight is not a leap year. So in ninety-nine, the day is Tuesday. On twenty-sixth Jan, two thousand, the day is Wednesday. But we have to tell on Independence Day means on fifteenth August. So twenty-sixth Jan is past. Twenty-sixth Jan the day is Wednesday. The remaining day of Jan are four. Plus in Feb of two thousand, total days are twenty-nine. Plus Jan, Feb. In March, the day are thirty-one. April, thirty. May, June, July. Plus fifteen day of August. So total, if you add all these, you get two zero two. So if you divide two zero two by seven, by seven, seven is number of day in a week. If you divide two zero two by seven, the remainder is remainder is if you divide this, the remainder is six. Means the day on Independence Day was six sixth day after Wednesday. Means after Wednesday, after Wednesday sixth day. So if you calculate after Wednesday, that sixth day is Tuesday. Question number twenty-two. Choose the correct water image from the question figure. So this is question figure. For finding water image, it is simple. That water image you must place here. If you find the mirror image by placing mirror in bottom, this will give you water image. So water image simple upward become downward or the thing which are Far become near and which are near become far opposite. So these two dots are in upside. These two must come in downward side. So it is not present in A, B, C, but present in D. Here, yeah. so option D is your correct answer. Question third twenty three. Piece of paper is folded and cut down. We have to tell which is correct image after if we unfold it. so this is first fold this is second fold and this is final we make this type of cut here if you open this in this position so you get this type of figure means a cut is present here same a cut is present here in between the image formed is like this which is present in option a only so option a is our correct answer question 24 embedded figure question we have to tell this question figure is embedded in which of the following given option so if you see option d in option d this figure is present here this same figure is present here and in upside also this figure here this is present so option d is your correct answer in question 25 girdar lal family consist of his wife this is Let this is Girdhar Lal. This is Girdhar Lal and his wife Radha. Girdhar Lal, his wife Radha. 
थ्री सन्स एंड टू डॉटर दीज हैव थ्री सन्स सन वन टू थ्री एंड टू डॉटर डॉटर डी वन डी टू वन डॉटर इज येट टू बी मैरिड एंड अदर डॉटर हैज अ सन वन डॉटर इज येट टू मैरिड एंड अदर हैज वन सन तो सन ऑफ डॉटर टू सन हैव टू चिल्ड्रन ईच टू सन हैव टू चिल्ड्रन ईच सो चिल्ड्रन वन चिल्ड्रन टू सेम चिल्ड्रन वन चिल्ड्रन टू एंड द थर्ड सन हैज थ्री चिल्ड्रन थर्ड सन हैव थ्री चिल्ड्रन सी वन सी टू सी थ्री थर्ड सन हैव थ्री चिल्ड्रन एंड ओल्ड आंट एंड सन इन ला ऑल्सो स्टे विद दैम सो ए सन इन ला सन इन ला एंड एंड ओल्ड आंट ऑल्सो स्टे विद दैम वी हैव टू टेल हाउ मैनी मेम्बर्स आर देयर इन किरधर लाल फैमिली सो टोटल मेम्बर्स काउंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन सो टोटल सेवनटीन मेम्बर आर प्रेजेंट देयर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट रीजनिंग पोर्सन थैंक यू वेरी मच